There it is. That's the one. That's the one. Get anyway, some. yeah. So today's subject is a London street scene that I got from. Oh, blimey. I never remember it. I get a few. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check that out. The um, it's either Facebook or take my picture, one or the other. So I only use the two groups now, but um, I think it's paint my picture. This one. Well, when I was sketching it, what I what I found was concentrate on. It looks much harder than it is because you're using the um. The actual image, there's so much going on there to find any. You just got to detract yourself from that and just find a few straight lines. Unless you could do oil paints and then just put some blobs on and build it up slowly. It looks all right on that on that image. It looks looking at it. Maybe I have darkened. No, that's the original. See how dark it is yeah that's what I'll, I'll send that one to gordon so what i did if i press a couple of buttons on the computer it brightens it up because i just wanted to mm. see what was going on because mm. cameras can't they they have a lot of trouble differentiating between um darkness of a tunnel and the light at the front it'll it'll focus on the light at the front and the rest it will just make it dark which is what it's done but the sketching of it is mm. but at some point you've got to sort of think to yourself what am i doing here it's a painting not a i've already got the photograph i just want an impression of what what's going on but some of the figures what's this bloke doing in the background here with a hoodie <laughs> you, you look at that and you think He's up no good. <laughs> or he's, oops. Well, he's not window shopping. <laughs> yeah, and it is London. Mm. I suppose what I should do sometimes, um, I haven't, if I'd have zoomed in, I would have sketched a hell of a lot more detail on this. Than what does I've that done. say, sorry, does that say something prison museum? Yeah. It does. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I was just looking at that. Okay. Clink. It's called the Clink. Right. It's it's the Clink Prison Museum. Okay. So hmm. we've now got a title for it. <laughs> we've got there's a couple. We're going through a little stage of these. We've got this one and another one after it, which is um, fish and chip bus. Uh, double decker bus London mm -hmm. that's next week and after that there's a lady that's bought a ticket and but because it was June June is the first week in June I thought oh there's an opportunity so I can't remember. her name is Karen I think it's Karen Karen um hi Karen <laughs> um I thought oh it's a good opportunity so I emailed her and said, what would you like to paint? You know, what subject? Seascape, landscape, blah, 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 blah. She wanted a seascape. So I found a nice seascape for for them. But mm. that was a good, good way of doing it. Mm. You know, if we um, if I'm about, I can juggle a position anyway. It'd be great. Oh, I think it'd be good for her anyway. So anyway, getting back to this looming thing. I have no plans. I haven't sat down and thought I'm going to do this, 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 and that. I thought about it, and I thought mm. I quite enjoyed last week just going al fresco and doodle. That's technical for just having a go. <laughs> mm -hmm. so I thought mm, maybe I'll do that today. Where's the? I better check. We've got camera first. Yeah, it says it's there. 
I haven't masked anything out. Just change the microphone. And I'm just going to go quiet for a second, then we'll go for it. Early lunch. I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can't believe I've just got a T-shirt on today. Mm. Not done any of the, got so used to sort of, well, at one point it was like two jumpers, <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't it, to, to go mm. out? And... On the other way now, I'm, I'm getting through. Two t-shirts a day. Well, so if I go out at the back and start, I don't know, even if I'm mowing the lawn or so, I'll come back soaking wet. There we go. It's not too bad. You can see that. But I've printed out the light one. So, hmm. But I haven't changed my palette. You'll be pleased to astounded to know <laughs> i still got that but as a backup i've got this right i think these are um watercolor gouache the um what they're called um pas pass so they just in case i want something brighter that's technical but what I thought I'd do, so I did think about it, I lied in a funny way, but I didn't seriously think about it. But I've, every painting, I've come to the conclusion now. How can I put this so that I can see it? Every picture is a portrait. <laughs> it doesn't matter what we do. We can look at it as a portrait. And the first thing I'm going to do is try and mix up a bit of a shadow tone with. It's not really a shadow, is it? It's just a. I suppose you could. I'm burbling there. It is a shadow tone, isn't it, really? A neutral tone, that's a neutral tint of some description. Get a rigger. Because I did all this sketching, I thought, hmm, as soon as you, what I find, I'm sure everyone else does, as soon as you, if you go off putting big washes on, it ruin all your pencil marks disappear. So I thought, what I try and do is just go over a few of them with a rigger. I don't know if this is, no, it's not on. I haven't got a rigger with enough of them. But I've got this middle diddle doodle brush. So I'm, I'm not being fussy there. I'm going with gay abandon. And just put in some new, some neutral colours. Hopefully not too dark. I'm going quick. I'm going to pretend I'm Toulouse Dave. <laughs> I need the pastel. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't got. Any tissue. I always paint with a tissue in one hand. My right hand. Because I paint left-handed. But I'll have a piece of tissue in my right hand so that I can just go think if I need to. I've had a clean up. Oh, no yeah, I've got I've thrown all the the manky tissues that were there away. Naughty boy. I just wanted to lift a bit of that off. So just clean water on the brush. Stab it on. It's amazing how dark things go, isn't it? 
worried about the pencil lines because we can rub them out at the end as long as it doesn't get rid of all the paint a bit more water in there i think lessen it but there's a few spots in there the shadowy areas there's one along here which is the edge of a building on when the street oh didn't realize it went into that figure's head that's naughty very naughty Never mind. I'm looking at. I haven't got my hair dryer out, but I think I might need it just to dry this off. It's the classic thing with me. If I don't do this, I'll lose windows, <laughs> which is a nightmare. Get off. I well, you sort of look at the painting, and think, oh, I'm glad that's finished done it nice job then you realize you've, you've painted over four windows that picture so i'm just going to put a little bit in and the figures as well i was a bit worried about them i'm going to lose them just going to put a few down to see even but i did paint them quite strong uh sketch them quite strongly with them He's in shadow. So I have to run out and get the hair dryer out. Everybody had a good week. Yeah. I've um, gardens are looking good. Oh, I got a letter this morning. Things stuff's looking up. The nationwide building society are going to give me hundred quid. Yeah. I've been oh and i'm a member apparently they've well they've made yeah, give me a hundred pound yeah me. Not me. <laughs> you've got to be a member yeah well what, what does that actually mean well you've got you've got to have an account well yeah. i've got a couple yeah. so I've what been for years what yeah. nationwide yeah. yeah it might be that was our first bank account when we first got married. It has to be active. Yeah. Yeah, yeah too. <laughs> <laughs> if it's an active, I just got the letter this morning. So you should get a letter. Well, perhaps we'll get ours today. Give myself a letter. Yeah, I got a letter because I was having a, having a laugh with Mel because ours is a joint account. I have to do a typical, you'll get the the hundred pounds and I'll just get the uh, nothing because she won't give me a card. We, they send me a card, you know, a bank card, but Mel won't let me have it. Big pardon? What, what, what was the idea of giving a hundred pound out? I think they made a lot of profit and they're as a member you're entitled to share as you're like a shareholder aren't you yeah all right oh well hopefully we've all got a little windfall coming then yeah, nice. we'll be disappointed if you don't get it now won't we? no i should be well, not um, at all so my mate give you any face <laughs> false hopes or anything but you yeah. Know. yeah you've started from it now Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well it only happened this morning oh the <laughs> irony well was, as there was waffling on i was going to say i had a because <laughs> emily works for them and ben does that he's a oh it's a fiddle then yeah <laughs> they both work for them you gotta have somebody working there <laughs> no 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 didn't say that that's getting it getting me into trouble no you could <laughs> it was the a, um they were they were over here and i said yeah oh, this is typical isn't it because they they get it as well because they're they're employees but they're equally members blah 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 <laughs> and i said yeah well uh, i'm not going to get it am i because mel's going to make uh, typical i'm i'm going to complain i've had an account for years and but because i haven't got a card they probably won't give me any money uh, whinge 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 wind up wind up <laughs> like a meal this morning i'll get a letter saying dear dave Oh, well, my post I'm coming in, member. Hopefully. Mm. hopefully we'll get one too. Yeah, be very handy at the moment. I think there are 
criteria, obviously I fulfilled it, mm. which is unusual for me. <laughs> as long as we have got to be men, that would be all right. <laughs> no, because the, the argument was that I wasn't going to get it because I didn't, Mel doesn't give me the card. So it would look like the only card that is active is Melanie's side of the account. Because mm, yeah. they don't know if you're a couple or whatever at the time. Yeah. You could split up and still have accounts, can't you, and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm gradually building this up. And uh, I think while I've got this, I'm going to grab the hairdryer, two secs. Um, dun -dun. Always forget to plug it in. What's going to say? Hum amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know a tune that'll get on your nerves. <laughs> no, I know lots of them actually. <laughs> you ask the day centre at Paul. <laughs> they hear them quite a lot. <laughs> Are you still well, doing that? Yeah, every two weeks. I, I've always, I've just started. I'm on my, I've done three mm. new ones. I love it. It's such such a nice thing to do. Right, I'm going to take a big brush and how big? We're going in with the mop. I've pencil. Mm. I'm just going to do the arch, see if what I can come up with colour wise. Try and follow the lines. Well, the, the nice thing is that um, because it is so dark, it, it, it should help with the brickwork situation. You won't need to go quite so mad, will you? No. Burnt Sienna. Do, 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 do. Do, do. I was going to use some of Terry Harrison's shadow as well. See if we can frame it. Frame the. Um... That's what we're, what we're doing effectively, isn't it? Is framing that bit inside all our all the light all the interest and stuff's in here one thing I did it's the same with all these type of sketches is deciding what's what in the picture you know by that I mean where does the tunnel start where does it end <laughs> all that sort of malarkey I'm going to add some of this blue, turquoise, cobalt turquoise. Normal background. Oh, I've got a big puddle of water down here. Oh, no. Let's try and... The problem is I've taken so much of the darkness tweaking the image on finding it difficult to um, visualise it pitch dark now. Somewhere I've got some of I've got a darker shadow tone. Got all these um, paints that that's shadow there. I think it will be. Yeah, that's better. Just drop it in keeping some of the other stuff. But I did say I'm, I'm not mucking about here. I've got a swimming pool here.
Mm-hmm. Well, right. Not that. Not that enamored with that bit over there. I liked it with the raw sienna and turquoise on it. And I'll put it back in. Oh, da da Water colour. Let the water do the work. In watercolor, we can lift it off anyway. Come back, we'll see another baby. It's just set the tone, isn't it? I drew some straight pencil lines going into some sort of perspective so that when I paint it, might. It's a good idea to put, put your brush strokes that way, for example. And you could even, oh, I don't think I've got one in. Use um, a credit card. <laughs> there you go. This is David. Credit card? Me? <laughs> it's not the sort of thing that. No, Mel yeah. won't let you have it. Hasn't that? <laughs> Mel, she won't let me have the card. <laughs> Definitely not a credit card. We haven't had one of those since um, <laughs> 19 something. They're dangerous. No, they were for me. Just wondering if I could use, but I've got I've only got the knife here, so but you can use anything to lightly add a bit of texture in for a minute. I'm just following. Thing is at the top it doesn't do that because it curves doesn't it the brick works the perspective slightly the other way i'm not, probably not going to leave it like this i just want to set a tone for later there's two rivers meat paper still i've been using this for a few weeks now anyway. voila i'll let that draw out for a minute mm. Beige. What colours? Oh, keep doing this. But in, in my enthusiasm, put a brush down. We can't find it. Got some dune colour, sand, which I thought I'd use in the background. Buildings. I haven't got any of that um, horizon blue, but I've got cobalt turquoise and cobalt or ultramarine in here. So I'm just going to that up there. Tin that we've got some sky in London. That was a good good spot, that Chrissy. The clink prison. That was Joyce. Bill, Joyce, brother. Yeah. As I said, Chrissy, I thought that was Joyce Dave. <laughs> so, I'm I'm to be be shutting my mouth today. I seem to be upsetting people wherever I go. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of. Right. Ooh. Strong that paint, isn't it? Try not to get the tunnel to bleed into it. Mm. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm starting to get excited now. Well, because I'm, I'm determined to learn how to paint fast I know that wasn't meant to be funny we weren't supposed to say yeah I can see the point. we left a gap between <laughs> that was the problem <laughs> it was a Freudian 
time okay. slipped, wasn't there? Mm. <laughs> Thanks for that. Bit of raw sienna. But I just keep using the same colours week in, week out. And I'm starting to think I need to become a bit more expressive. Bit of raw sienna. I'm going to try and... It's not quite bright enough. I was hoping to... I think it's my raw sienna. It's... Let's add that out a bit. You know, sometimes the paint in your palette gets a bit dirty. It's come off the brush. It's supposed to be raw sienna in there, which is a nice warm earth colour, isn't it? I always add a bit of yellow to it. Yeah, that will do it. Warm there. Probably is. It's got to be quite a light colour. Buildings. Ding, 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 ding. When in doubt, squint your eyes up. Definitely got to have it in there. Some point. Fun with water. Still got a bit of that blue sky that I made. With the dirty grey colour, so I can pop it into the windows. Because it's going to reflect my sky, not the one that's... in the photograph. Oh, there's a built this glass up there. See, I nearly lost that window. There's one up there. It's quite quite canny, really, because I put the grey in the window earlier on, and that's sort of settled and dry now. And the blue's just sitting on top, so I'm quite pleased about that. Sounds like we've got back the dogs home. I've got barking out the front. Maybe it's the bloke with the St. Bernard come to find me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a lovely dog. That was a nice bloke in the end, actually. Very nice. Now, I don't know what's going on here in this bit. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. That's one thing that did cross my mind yesterday when I was looking at it or as I was sketching it. Thinking, you've got to find bits. You've got to find light, bright light. It's like I've already lost it, but I think what I'll do. Add a few. Ooh. Now I notice this building back here it's got a blue very light blue tinge to it mm. my paint's a bit ah it's not the paint it's the paper it's that paper that um I'm always complaining about it. It's like blotting paper, it's absorbent. Anyway, while I'm going at it, I've got a path here. So try and avoid the figure. Same colour, bit darker. Rose Madder, Cobalt Blue. Into burnt sienna should give us a 
a path gray. Perhaps it can. It doesn't go up that far, does it? If you find, as you do it, you do the dark bits first, and that'll take the, well, the way I'm thinking of it. Is if you do the dark bits that you, on the pavement, that'll take all the paint, the, the oh, bulk of the paint off, and then you can go up further up to the lighter bits and just touch it. You get the same tonal value, but further up, which is what it is. There is a shadow there, actually. I can find a little bit of another palette. The figure has got a slight shadow. Everything's gone early this morning. Sainsbury's delivery came 10 o'clock. I'm going to put some, just looking at the footpath. Put some extra sharp doodles in. Shadow. Sharp. Shadow-ish tone. I can put the extra detail in later. Now, the, the other path... The road, even. It's got loads of stuff in, doesn't it? See what I mean about my yellow? It's my light. It's not light, is it? It's, it's almost like my paint's gone. The bar gate. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. No, you want want a slightly different shade of grey. Mm. Sounds like the start of a book, doesn't it? Hundred shades of grey, or whatever it was. Just a darker tone of the same for the path under here. Mm. A bit more burnt sienna, I think. And he sat with us at night as well. Hint of blue. I thought, oh, we're going to be friends after all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're the only ones who's friends with us. Just trying to get a different... We're his only friend. Grey. No, he's still got Les. We'll put him. Les and... Ames Grey probably work really well on this. Anyone who's watching that uses Payne's Grey. Mm -hmm. Perspective on it, get you have a myriad of and the wall on the left is problems. Really thick, heavy colors. It's the boring bit, really, isn't it? Blocking it in. Fascinating, all the same. Just got to do it. Happy day. Yeah, I'm getting there. It is a watercolour. Got to keep reminding yourself. You're not an architect. He's got a photo. He doesn't want a photo. <coughs> oh, do you want to take my cup? Bit of that sand colour. Burnt umber. I want it to go a bit darker. This little bit here. Look at him. There's a bit there as well. The old crow around. I've already spent the hundred pounds anyway if I get it. What have you bought? <clears throat> well I've ear earmarked it, shall we say that one? I want to get some more um 
I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to, I set them out. I'm going to invest it in the garden. Get some um, more seaweed, organic fertilizer stuff. I'm in love with that. There's a, it's Shropshire seaweed people or something. Put it on there. That's it's about thirty-five quid for five liters. Lasts a long time. I've only bought one in two seasons. You water it down, sort of two percent and things like that. So I'm hoping to buy some more. And they've also you can also buy some. Um, Compost accelerator, same sort of stuff. This is going too dull here. Don't like it. That's the reason I've got the tissue under the in my hand. Yes. So I've got plenty of compost. I've got two compost bins, but invariably it takes two years for <laughs> to get any compost out of them. It takes so long to break down. Even put in accelerator from Amazon in it. So I've decided the stuff that these people sell is the stuff that farmers use. So I thought, well, say no more. Be out there. It says it does it in six weeks. Crikey. Well, what they got in it to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That could do with a little bit of a lift off here as well. <clears throat> I'm not saying too much, but I'm hoping, well, that because I'm going to make the the background, the foreground much darker at some point, or I go home. Brian, um, it's going to be much darker, so it'll make the inside look more interesting. See, I haven't got the right, the right um, yellow. Brighter, it needs to be really strong, bright yellow. So look at this. Almost neat colour. I'll spray it in a minute. Give it a quick spray and see if it'll spread. And there's a big, I'm squinting my eyes up. I'm not even looking at the, what it is. I don't care what it is. I just want to, I'm just looking for the shape. What I need to do is lift that bit out. My trusty tissue and then put it back in. Dry the brush off. Because as you know, I don't have any red in the part. Well, I haven't had any for ages. Just that um, threaded rose madder. I was here in crimson. But it must be all rose madder now because I haven't put any. Um, I was here in crimson. I've had that in my palette for quite a long time. I'm going to hang on with that a minute. Did say I was going to spray that. Now, let's hope this is water in here and not what it says. Lens cleaning spray. Mm. I keep the lens cleaning spray, but also use it for water. Because it's got a good... Sp no, it's water. Well, I smell it. That's something else that happened this morning when I was walking the dog. 
somebody had been, I was walking along and obviously somebody had had a tin of links or some sort of spray that they plastered themselves with. <laughs> and I'm walking along and I thought, what the? That's, that's, what's that stink? Of course, the, just so happens I look around and the person's right next to me, Brad. <laughs> oh, I really shouldn't be allowed out some days. <clears throat> but it didn't have, he must have stuck the whole bottle on. So I'm funny about that stuff. I don't use it. I quite like smelling a human. There's a bit of that rose matter. I'm just dropping it a bit and see what happens. Here and there. It's all about light and dark, and uh, light, just light, really. Trying to put some light back into the picture. While I remember, while it's on my mind, because there's a a street light. Ooh, where is it? Somewhere about there, I think. So, so this is a a picture that you should be doing in slowly over days. Not. Quickly. Well, maybe. That's You're nice in pastels, Carol. Mm. <clears throat> or even in my um big drain pipes from my little world, enhancing break out. Yeah. this what I do now at some point with pastels. Now mm -hmm. I've burnt that's burnt sienna, but it's looking a bit and this I'm using low grade paint it doesn't have that depth of tone hence the reason I keep using I'm going to do it now adding a little blob of yellow wash of yellow underneath it it's got that more boarding out but it's because of perspective is correct it? to dig it an underglow um that's I just think it's too dark. Uh, too. What's the word? I don't know what the word is, really. It's a bit of burnt umber on there. Um, flat, I suppose. Doesn't have a. Maybe Chrissy's turning me into an acrylic artist because <laughs> it doesn't have that bit of oomph that I'm looking for. So much in this picture is unbelievable. Well, that's not too bad. I can, once it's dried off, it will tidy up. But as I say, this paper is so absorbent. One of the things I... I think the, mm, if you've got the sand colour and you can drop it in initially on the building. So I think I'm... That would be a mis my mistake today. I should have just painted the buildings with a, a light sand colour to start off with. Give it that background and then dropped hard dark bits on top. Maybe that was a deliberate fault so that I could <laughs> say that and everybody else's paintings would be better than mine. Mm -hmm. said, what a nice guy that Dave is. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kind of, I've got a little bit of that yellow there. So while I'm in it, in the mood, put this little brush on, I'm going to put it a little bit on the figures. There's a sort of, even this one here is pitch black in shadow. I had a bit of a when I was sketching this guy he's got longer legs than you think they're really long and thin so I'm going to put a bit of yellow underneath just to give it a bit of glow is it all dry in a minute can you put that on general yeah get them a 
That's why she's very careful. Bang me up, doctor. There you go. Right. A bit of quick zuzz with the hair dryer. Oh, you already. Something going on there. Can't reach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, not very well. I can't really tell if she's concentrating. Mm -hmm. Could be wind. Eh? It could be wind. Oh. It's not looking up and smart yet, man. I want to dry it off so I can put my hand on it. Verbal bashings has been having the and lean in. They are still going to the cast. So. Get rid of the monkey. It's all right. The monkey was sat on my chair. So he's had to go on, right? Want to mix up some darks. I think what I'll do is I'll get a bit of. This is Terry Harrison's shadow colour. So I'm going to squish a little bit of that out. Don't need much. Burnt amber and blue. Said what? Which one? Because there's no other. It's annoying when the lid won't go back on. Which is the second one. Mm. Needs a wash off. <laughs> Get a rigger. I need a rigger. I might use Terry's. Harrison's rigger as well. Burnt umber. And blue. I'm going to stick that over here. It's a different dark to the shadow. No sort of bam, 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 get a, a, a fine rigger. Now I should be able to stick my hand over the um, picture without wrecking it. And I just want to put a few doodles, lines in where those. Very Dickensian feel, this, isn't it? But mix it up. So I've got two darks. I've got the little shadowy tone and the burnt umber over the other side so I can drop them in together. Different. Yeah, as long as you're not over there. Just stuck my head, my arm in the picture, and it's soaking wet here. Right. I swore I dried, dried it with a hair dryer a minute ago. Let's put those over there. See what happens. Being left handed, I keep. This is Terry Harrison's shadow. Over there, I'm just dropping. I'm not put, putting all the lines of the windows in, but looking for corners as well. I did diligently count how many panes there are. I think there's eight across and four down. And I knew when I started painting it, I thought I'm going to get bored with that. You don't need them. All you need to do is look for the intimation that they're there let the let the viewer put the rest in but i'm just alternating between the shadow up there 
the shadow Terry Harrison's shadow tone and the burnt umber and blues down here and just tweak it in. What you miss with one, you can put in with the other, like that. Put feet down straight. The only thing I am <laughs> thinking is when you come to the rub off some paints or lines, don't, don't rub off the windows because the, the hint of them has worked quite well. Oh, yeah. Then I watch. I think that was, hmm, I've got, I'm alternating, but I forgot which one I was alternating with. Stupid boy. Might have to lift that off again. <laughs> Let's try that on this one. Think about it. Straight line. And the lights have a comes down a bit, doesn't it? I've been lucky that I left a bit of white paper that's hopefully making it stand out a bit. Ding ding ding. Bing, 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 bing. I don't know what it is. I don't particularly want to know. They're just shapes, aren't they? When you paint it, don't get bogged down with what it is. Just look at the shape of it and paint the shape, the tone of the colour. Whether it's a face, it's an object. And when you finish, hopefully the subject will turn up. <laughs> There's optimism, Dave. A bit more dark now. There's got to be a dark line down the edge. And it's all sticking my hand in. Paint left, right, and center there. <coughs> Fine line here. Look at your windows. Decide where you want the dark, the recess shadow bit to come. And whack it in. I always tidy up later. It's watercolour at the end of the day. Oh, one thing I will do. Some sort of posts now. And this has a base on it. That has a base on it. And the door has a dark bit going down. Just build it up. Slowly but surely. Uh, that wind the radio doing it and I sticking my hands in previous bits I've been in. Shh. Don't be left handed. What my dad used to say, wasn't it? He said, tie my left hand behind my back and force me to write. <laughs> they work with my other arm. Normal thing back then, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, well, quite, it wasn't uncommon. Mm. It wasn't vicious. It was just meant to help, really. A bit of flesh. Uh, no, what's it called? Brick. Sand. It's just adding a bit of burnt sienna to it. And then I can use. The rigor and drop in a few. And actually, sense some brickwork there. You ain't going to paint them all, but you can just put a few in. 
Shame about that one. It's gone a bit. That window has gone a bit. Leave it. Not much fuss. I can tidy it up at some point. Bricks. It'd be a brick. Gordon's been playing with bricks today. Oh, I had DIY. I was doing that yesterday. I I think I said before the garden gate or the the front gate. I've only got a, I haven't got a garden gate. I've got a front gate that I built years ago. And it was looking a bit, it, it fell apart effect, effectively. No, the gate did. It was all the posts and the surrounds that was holding the gate on. Yeah, all fell apart. So I've had to become Mr. DIY doing all that again. But I bought a, an SDS drill because I got a drill through concrete floor to you know the path to to lock in the fence posts well that was the result it went through it like hot knife through butter so that was a success story so now painting through um brick walls ain't, ain't, isn't not isn't a problem for me anymore Whereas it was in past, there's a few spots around this house that's got some sort of concrete lintels underneath it. You can't see them, but you know they're there when you try to paint it because it won't go through. You need another clean tissue. I'm just going to lift off that bit there. It's annoying. I can't do much about it. There's the pencil line there that's distracting me because it's looking like it's the building goes up on a thing up on the part and it doesn't it's 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 spoiling my mental image of the building look at this where I put my arms stupid boy if I can use a big brush I will Thinking about it, I need a bit of doodah, shadowy, no I can't, it's too big, I'll stick with the river I'm afraid. What I wanted to do was put some lines on to intimate these are bricks, quickly, got a little bit of shadow colour up there so I can do that. But it is a not finished paper, so you can use the the naughtiness. Now you know why I dried it. Mm -hmm. So that I could just use a bit of dry brush to give it a feeling of Ooh, that was dark yet. Yeah. Uh, keep going, don't be shy. They do go down as well. I do have bound lines, so better put a few of those in. But you get the gist. You can build it. You might build it up. Try and make it like it's two different, two separate paths. We'll be able to figure something out. Scratching away like a little old M. I was going to say, use a slightly bigger brush at the front. Oops. Don't have to be cobblestones. They could be anything you like. There are any cobblestones because they recently put them there. Before there, it would have just been a dirt track. That's why I'm looking at it. There's no reason why it should be. 
But if you just stick a line, a straight line, and all I'm doing, well, you've got a better way of doing it, do it. I'm just sticking a line and then going down. Dunk, put an old down line in it. Obviously, close to the ones you can use the bigger brush because there are people out there that would paint practically every stone. Now, I don't know about you. Nope, not me. Come about, come about after about. Why is even that is happening now? After twelve. I can feel my tummy rumble when I'm thinking <laughs> I've got a well you do don't you think well I've got to have something to eat in a minute otherwise I'm going to fall over I did sketch that naughty bloke there wherever he was while well, I've got that dark colour I did Put a few pencil lines where the path, or I thought the path. Was. I started to paint pencil lines, and then I realised the path has down lines on it. You know, obviously where it's mixed, it's almost like brickwork. That got me confused then, but I've still got that same mix of burnt umber and blue there, and the out the tube stereo shadow tone it's a good term stereo shadow tone stand by for action and just put it in and with the rigor do the same as i was doing over there and a few dots uh, now, while I'm in the mood, I'm going to use a little bit of rose matter. Now, don't forget, I've got the dark colours anyway uh, that I've mixed up. I might just take a bit of hint of blue first. On this guy's long trousers before I go in with the really dark bits. I didn't notice. Here we go then. Just drop it in. Keep the front slightly less dark. We can always lift it off. This sort of arm comes out and then tucks in a bit. Use the clean water and just drizzle it down, see if that, well, it will give you a nice glow. And the inside, in my mind, should be darker than the outside. Give him a little bit of a shoe. Mm. Might need to go a bit darker over this side. Problem is, this blotting paper paper is soaking up all my good work. Get a nice dark colour. And you come back two seconds later and it's disappeared. That do you? Why has everybody got bloody hoodies on in London? What's going on? They're all criminals, aren't they? They're all crooks. They're out to rob you. That's right. At least we haven't got paint their faces. <laughs> Actually, the guy at the the naughty guy, I'm calling him naughty, he's calling him a really <laughs> nice bloke. But he's got if when you zoomed in earlier, you could see that he's got um I can see his face looking back. Oh, yeah, he gives me the willies. <laughs> I've been having a 
conversation on um, next door, which is social media platform. Because apparently a load of travellers have turned up at Eiffel Bridge in Christchurch, which is a seasonal thing anyway. Mm -hmm. Of course, you get all the vociferous, um, nasty people coming on social media saying horrible things to do with these people, you know, because they do leave a bit of a mess. Well, quite a lot of a mess sometimes. But there's the perception is that that they're creating a criminal offence, where well, they're not. Travel the right, they have rights. They 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 can do all they're doing. If anything is is the is a civil matter, which is trespass. They're not actually doing anything that bad. So I'm been. I'm sort of sticking up for them in a funny way, or just explaining to people that common law in the, in England goes right back to Henry the First before before it, it goes right back to Anglo-Saxon times, and it's entrenched the right to do what they do, whether they're gyp gypsies or travellers, how you define it, is enshrined in. In our law, in our land, you can't decipher, you can't take it that way. And, it, and the worst, it's the same. They have the same rights and rules whether you go to France, Spain, Hungary, all countries. And we all started our common law originated. Well, a lot of it stems from Roman law. It's entrenched in our society. To, to, so to say that it's about time the law changed on certain things, it, yeah, it's an easy statement, but it's to, in practice, it is impractical. It would take lifetimes to um, change the law uh, so that people... You think about it, the right to roam, you know, it's just mind-boggling. The amount of intrinsic UK law and European law that involved in trespass or, you know, the rights of people to park up and enjoy whatever lifestyle they want from that moment on. You can't do it. it, it, it the law, it isn't, there isn't enough time by the time. By the time you did it, it had been gone, pointless. I'm saying that there are some really naughty people out there doing that. I don't think that is them. I'm just trying to think. Where am I? Oh right, yeah, okay. There are no. There's not a window. So I'll pencil that one out, rub that one out. Getting a, getting a feel for it though. Now this guy back here, put a little bit of flesh on him. Just a little, oh, too much. This is so wet. You <coughs> paint that is probably better to use it with a pencil. And he has a bluey grey. Oh, everything's the same sort of shades of colour, isn't it? You have to watch that because it's um, pretty wet. One thing I was going to do, what I remember, these brushes are great for lifting these um, oil brushes. I've said it a million times, but. They're um, really good. I'm just sort of, no, I didn't want that there. Let's show that bit. Whoops. We can lift it off slowly. There's a little bit there, isn't there? It could... So as long as you've got your tissue in your palm of your hand, you can sort of give it a scrub. It lifts it off. 
you can do it with any brush, but watercolor ones tend to, tend to be a bit yuck. It's soft and not got the um, stiffness in it to lift it. Next stage, a bit more of that yellow. Well, just for a funnel. Or some of the yellow that's in this <laughs> paint box here. It's a really intense, isn't it? It's sort of a lemon yellow. Just a variation on the theme. Really. See if I can be in slightly um opaque it might stay a bit better don't know i think i was better with the other yellow on that bit decisions decisions it's been such a it's such a fiddly picture Is even getting confused. It's a lot to confuse me, as you well know. Oh, dear, oh dear. Don't mess with me when I've got my dog out now. <laughs> oh. Right, a bit more. I've got a fine river. Yeah. The dabs of more highlights here and there. Mm -hmm. Just a touch, a little bit down there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack. The background in a little while. Definitely, um, all my paintings I've noticed lately, or I've decided I could come back later and use some pastels and just sort of add a bit of sparkle here and there. Let's just mix up a little bit of a window colour. You're going to be a window, whether you want to or not. <laughs> Yeah, that's that shop, isn't it? They sell, what's, what they call it? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> what, what, we're trying, what you should be looking for is to achieve the, the, the feel and the ambience of a place. Not, we've got the photo, we've been there, done that, seen that, and action. And we use a bit of white at the end, can't we? Just to tighten a few bits up here and there. I've lost my oh, my family have gone out. I've just no noticed the car's not there. But take it, I've just it's only the last oh, less than a week now that I've taken the dog over on to stamp it marsh yeah that dog it shows he likes it because he's half past six he's waiting <laughs> he knows i get up at sort of not long after half six he's waiting at the door because he loves it he's a he's such a it's one of those dogs that likes interacting with other dogs i guess so he's straight there you know just down in a few bits of sparkle went sienna here and there where's it gone it's well it's wool sienna uh burnt sienna mixed with a little bit of 
the sandy mix. Get to that stage when you're painting, you don't care anymore. You, and we got in relation to the pitch to the painting, uh, photograph. Photograph's not important. It's the way you feel about the picture that's more important. What you feel, your colour. We're the artists, not the bloody photograph. It's more spoil. Blimey. I'm not sure why. May I find it with jazz and. I've, I've, I've decided on this bloke's umbrella. It's, somebody's got an umbrella here. They're drawing back quite nicely. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got a. I've got the shape of this one here. I've stuck to the, the theme of the photo. Just gonna have a little bit there. I've kept the shape, and I'm just when it dries. In a minute, in a minute, I'll um, I might just put a dab of white on it actually, just to so that it looks like the um, so I do it this way. There you go. So it looks like they got a hood on. I just left a little hint of white there and painted above it in dark using the radio. So now close up, you can't. You wouldn't be able to see it, I don't, don't expect. But close up, it from where I'm sat, where the white is, it looks like there's a slight hoodie. But, you know, I've got one of those coats, and I use it on the rain like this. Put um, rose rose matter in this one, but I'm not sure it was the best I do. Now we've got to find a really weak watery shadow colour with that foot as a shadow. Would you it? Well it would, wouldn't it? It's lifted it up. And this one's got a shadow coming back from it. But as, as I've said before, you can spend <laughs> spend a lifetime weeks putting shadows into into paintings that's what this person here there's a really long shadow going right the wrong they're, they're good shadows so because they're undefined sometimes the ones you do on the seascapes where the shadow's reflected in the sand. I'm gonna put some there as well. It's really highly defined. When you come to paint it, it makes it such a fiddly thing because you don't want to make it too, that too defined. It's, they're hard, I, well, I find them difficult to do. So I, I try to undefine the shadow. Just make it so that it's a, a line in this sort of it, oh, well, no, it's dark. Yeah, maybe I'll leave it for now. Does it make sense what I said? You know, when it's just because you can uh, do it with a, you can do it. Just put clean water on. Let's put it. There, I did that. You can put clean water on the paper where you want the shadow, fine line, and then just drop the paint in and let it do its its magic. And if it's tilted like this, then you'll get the shadow. But on sometimes on the beach ones, the shadow is almost identical to the picture to the actual person, so it's just a mirror image of it. And they, I find them harder to do. Believe it or not. It's just psycho psychological thing with me that they look false when I paint them and I can't get it to blend neatly into the, I'm just putting a bit of shadow down here. That was clean water. 
I'm going to dry this off and attack attack the background. It's going to have something in it all the way along there. I think in the if you're canny, when you when you develop your sketch, if there's bits of the picture where you're not too keen on putting the detail, or, you know, it's technically a bit fiddly. Put the figure, move the figure so that it's in front of it. The bit that you find, why not? But, uh, the figure. Um, is hiding the bit that you not too keen or not too confident on painting. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just squishing that because of a bit of a shadow. <laughs> and I want to put a bit of burnt umber into that dark. Ooh. This is just sticking on is harming all the paint. Oh, I fell in the pond <laughs> during a week as well, uh, a few days ago. That hurt. <laughs> oh, Tally, that, that, that flipping hurt. Ow. Didn't squash any fishes eh? Oh, I think there's a few peed off frogs in there. <laughs> <laughs> Only you, Dave. <laughs> I was stood it. Uh, well, I was. What was I doing? I think I was um, grabbing the, got some fly traps hanging on the back, the back of the next door's got a garage that backs well, uh, quite a bit of my garden. So um, I used the, um, they can't get to it, but I used their a drain pipe what do you call it, the gutter, the hook -em -over, the fly traps, because I noticed that flies were getting a bit excited because it's spring. So I thought I'd just hang them down a bit. All the petunias grow and take over. And um, I forgot where I was for a second. Oh, I didn't, I remembered then. <laughs> One foot went down in the pond, the other one, where well, the body went the other way, and I was lucky, really. Could have hurt myself. I did get a few nicks. I was, I stood up, one foot in the pond, the other one on the pebble next to it, pebbles next to it, and I thought, cool, they'll be pleased. That's the first time I've ever done it sober. Because <laughs> <laughs> over the years, I've done it a few times, or once or twice. And I've always been a bottle of wine to the to the party. <laughs> and I had a brilliant idea, like, oh, let's go up and mow the lawn. <laughs> oh dear, you shouldn't do that when you've been drinking. Not with a because it's a motor mower with a clutch on it. So if you do trip over and fall over, it just carries on <laughs> across the lawn. <laughs> oh dear, it's not. A, it's quite scary. I'm just covering up my pencil marks. I put um, some some lines, sort of intimating the perspective. And I'm just rather than rubbing them out, I'm just put, painting over them with the rigor, same way as I've done here, just doing straight line. What's the word? It's down. I'm going down and straight at the same time almost. I could put a few up here. They're only baselines because in a minute I'm going to go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. If Gordon, he'll have fun. He'll paint every brick or every other one. <laughs> I'm just not into it. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't be doing it. Mm -hmm. Too dark. So you won't see the folks. No, that's that's the um the stage I'm gonna get head well I'm hoping to go for now. So I've stood up there. So anything can happen. 
I'm going to draw it off again. Mm. So that what I've put there will stay. When I, well, it will stay a little bit. Just notice I have to put, dry the side of it off as well because I I keep thinking the, I did just now I thought the pa painting was dry enough to touch I forgot to dry this where I've been using it as a palette of course I stick my hand in there and then it goes straight into the main doodah that's technical for painting I think. Well, no, I don't think I th I'm going to have a have a blog. Oh, that's a shame. I'm talking to myself a bit, but I've got some indigo paint here. That I thought I might introduce to the party. But it's like watercolour paints, they separate inside, don't they? The, the binder or the carrier to, comes away from the pigment and then when you squirt it you get a big load of in this case it's like blue it's just like water almost let's see what that happens it says it's indigo that's a good start so let's rehydrate the the background with a Large brush, but not pressing hard. Really softly, in fact. And see what happens. Oops, I did. I've just done exactly the same I did at the initial. Started there, and now I've got a big puddle of paint, of uh, water there. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure how dark. It's going to go really dark, but with being with the water on it, I'm relying on the water to do a lot of the work. May well be you need two coats. I don't want to lose my figure. I lost my news again. Okay? We'll figure. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. You all did. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Chris. Mm. Uh -huh. I'd let you know I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit, I just thought it'd be um, a nice thing to do. <laughs> Whack a bit of indigo into the there you go into the proceedings. I'm still looking at those lines were sort of running, so I'm trying to make the brush strokes go that way. Oh dear. Hmm. Different. Proper art. Just got to lift a few bits off in it. Especially in there. I said I had a puddle there, didn't I? Hmm. What's my finer brush? You have to tidy a few bits up, lift a few bits off. 
But you can see if you didn't dry it, if you didn't use the hair dryer, it'll just nicked all the colour that was there before. There's no reason why I can't blow it around. Got a blower somewhere. There, a metal tube, wasn't it? Mm. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Whoops, got a big drizzle in there. It's going to dry back quite nicely. Huh? I was thinking, um, if I had a credit card, I'd probably use a credit card to scratch that. Like I did before with the, um, the knife. You know, if you have a, with a credit card, you can just as it dries off, just set, just move it around a bit. Give that impression of, well, I'm in a tunnel. But it just doesn't seem to work as well with the palette knife. Mm. I can't get that straight edge. Hang on a minute. I haven't got a credit card. Got the bus pass. Oh. Got OAP bus pass. <laughs> I haven't used it on it. I ain't got no intention of going on a flipping bus. Maybe that'll work quite nice. Usually you need to, same technique, have the tissue in your palm of your hand and just clean the little rascal off. Mm. Mm. It's very too stiff here. Yep. Get the drift. Give me pictures nice and <laughs> Got a top hat on. <laughs> As if I'm going to go on a bus with a top hat. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> that was, well, they asked for a picture, so I gave them one. Nobody complained. <laughs> so, so if I catch a bus anytime, I've got to wear, I've got to wear a top hat. <laughs> I thought that was quite, quite a novel idea, actually. They don't look at it. You just tap it on the thing and away you go. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Hmm. I don't have... I'm not too keen on going on buses these days, but... The hard bit would be getting to the bus stop. Because it's... I can walk that far. I'll carry on and go up. I'll walk to town. So that's just the um, palette knife seems to be doing quite a nice job, actually. There's a few, um, as I say, there's a few really, really bits around the edge that because I've got. No, no, no. Go on a, B, C, D, autism, I have to have it straight because it didn't work otherwise. Yeah, okay. Don't go over there, Dave, because it's right. I know, but you left hand it. You've got no choice. Oh, thanks. There you go. And after that, I'm just going to... You can see what I was saying earlier about I wish I'd... The buildings i wish i'd um just painted it initially with a a light coat of a light wash of um sand color i think it'll at this stage it's too late now but it would have looked 
nicer with that. And we've given it more, a little bit lighter colour. We'll probably still lift it off a bit. It's always the way, isn't it? Spend all that time painting and then giving it a good scrub. I'm going to have to make a move, I'm afraid. I'm going Are you going out to lunch? No, no, going over to Kathy's to do a bit more furniture and moving for her. Well, boxes and plants and all sorts, anything I can fit in the car. Awesome. Yeah. You're a good mum, see? No. Well, we'll be away when they finally move on the 4th. Um, Bob's got, um, got a van and a man for the day, so they'll be able to do all the big furniture when we're moving. Yeah. But I've taken well, I've done most of what I was going to do here anyway, Chris. Yeah. So I've yeah. Just, well, I've I won't be getting it done anyway, I don't suppose. I won't, don't think I'm going to have time to do it just yet. If you're ever going to miss one, I would say this was one one of the best ones to miss. <laughs> no, no, but it's a nice one. Yeah. No, Potentially, if you've got a bit more, you've got the, an extra, you know, lots of, a bit of spare time and, you know, it's, it's one of those pictures that you start off like this and put it on the board and come back every now and then and do a few extra bits to it. It's, yeah. it's worth the effort. Yeah, but I, I prefer just going for it. I could. Yes. Anyway, I um, shall see you. Won't be next week. Um, oh. Where are you going? Where are we going, Anne? You still there? Or she gone to the doctors? I don't. I'm still there. Yeah, they're not there. They've gone with me. Um, Just remember. It's, um, out um, at the other side of Wareham, between Wareham and Lulworth. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, oh, near, near, right. near, near the home garden centre. Anybody knows where that is? It's a lovely garden centre. Near Wall, is it? That way? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, you sort of turn off on the on the as if you're going to Lowworth down there. Mm. Mm. Anyway, that's where we're going. It's one of these it's ten days away and we've got all sorts of different themes going on. Country and Western and fancy dress, best decorated hat and uh, right. ABBA, best dress to ABBA in person. <laughs> <laughs> so, You've got to get up and mm. sing now, have you? <laughs> no, <laughs> That's but in the meantime, I've got a surprise for Kathy. I bought her because um, um, she's a little bit further to go to work and she's got no transport. And Rob's not very keen on her walking through Boscombe at half past four in the morning. Mm. So I bought her a vintage rally fold up bike. Oh, she knows oh. nothing about it. Um, yeah, I've got it on Marketplace. I saw somebody, oh. she was just saying, you know, oh, she said, oh, I'm going to walk. She said, it's not worth, you know, you can get the bus, but she just likes walking. She's, yeah. you know, she doesn't like walking, but Rob just not keen on her walking. So mm -hmm. well, hopefully nice. she'd appreciate nice surprise. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take that over now. And, um, and then she'll have to decide where she, where she wants it, whether she wants mm. it at the old flat or the new flat in the meantime. Mm. But uh, mm. anyway, so. Well, have a nice time. Yes, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah, we're back on the, on the, hang on, let me have a look. On the 5th of June, I think it is. And, um, yeah, go on Friday. So, yeah, won't be here next Tuesday. Oh, it's only one week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we're, we're back again on the Monday. So, yeah, hopefully, see you the following Tuesday. Yeah. Well, have a nice time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>
it's the nice weather's back. Sort of fucking up a bit, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's just nice, you know, and I've been so busy doing all these removals. Mm. It's just so nice just to relax and <laughs> let them get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to dash. So, okay. Be good, good everybody. Enjoy. Yeah. Bye. 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 Cheers, Bye. Chris. Bye. 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 Favourite trick now. Just a little bit of white. Just to put some highlights if I can. I did put some on the side of the palette so that I could use it as a glaze. Hopefully to take any edge off of anything that I wanted. Because being um, watercolour white, you it fades. Mm. It fades back. I'm just using it as a sort of a glaze to. I'm actually being very naughty at the moment because I'm sat down. But if, if you're fortunate, well, if you're brave, you would have started off, you would put the. Um, the undercolour on anyway so you know so the base underneath is fine or you with the white if you put any white on all you're doing is just tweaking what you've done already hopefully to give it an, an extra bit of glow like you watch if i put i paint it over the whole thing gently that's why i dried it first and it it will dry back and it in, in my mind it enhances not takes away so still lost my shadow though didn't i i made a not a big play but i made a point of um using the put a little bit of a Clean water and a bit of shadow tone down through here. Didn't last, it disappeared. There you go. Well, it's not my finest, finest hour, but it's not my worst either. I think it'll dry off. I say it is a watercolour, so I'm never going to get solid paint unless I use solid paint out of a tin, out of, a, out of the tube. Then it doesn't look right when you do that either. So, but you can see that as I put, I can put layers of, a layer of white colour on these bits but, but as it dries it starts to come through again which is nice really because you can gradually build it up oh, like i said I've, I've not looked at the picture for ages so it should be put a few highlights in I'm not going to touch the figures. That one could, maybe you could put something there. And an extra bit there to say that she's wearing a doodle. Over to you. I think I was saying anything about this picture. It's, don't get bogged down with detail. Once you do the same as last week, really, do a nice sketch, spend an extra 10 minutes in the sketch, then when you come to paint it, just be confident, don't have any fear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
No, because yeah. like even the dark bits, I've I lightened them up with the little bit of the white. White watercolor works just as well. Does the same thing. And you usually find you have to put quite a few different coats on. You know, quite a few layers. Which gives you the confidence to know that the layer that you put putting on isn't going to destroy completely what you've already put there yeah. because it's going to fade back. Initially, like that, you think, oh, blimey, it's strong. But if you leave it a few minutes as it dries, it, the, the colour underneath comes back, which is quite, well, restores it. Well, that was a bit over real. I was going to. Put big blobs of yellow with the intention of putting little blobs of white in them afterwards. I don't know what it is. I don't think they're white, so I don't really. They are now. Put a little bit on the path. What's it look like with a main tone? Shouldn't it look horrendous. Well, <coughs> Hmm. Could even do, I mean the background you could do, I could even do more on it. Just build up more layers. Mm. And now I've done do it. I've got time. I've got a few minutes. That's I dried it, you know. I think I dried it. Hmm. Another a, a, a lot of um artists do this they they build it up watercolor because you haven't got that opacity what they do is they'll build up layers so there i've mixed up some burnt umber and blue which is a really dark layer and now i can just carry on dropping that in doesn't have to be over the whole thing following those Sort of pencil lines that I put in again to show where the press you just want them pointing towards the inside of the tunnel. It's all right, I'm on. I hear car doors at the front, I'm on <laughs> alert. If you got, um, not saying anything untoward, but if you've got travellers, then when you've got them around, strange things happen. People knock on your door and say, can I clean your drive, mate? Cheap. Do you want to get rid of that rubbish, mate? <laughs> I've had it over the years. Or it's the favourite one is, you know your roof? Yes. Those um, that gutter in there is gone. You need. To, oh, we can go up and have a look for it. Uh, and then they come down. Is it well, five hundred quid? We'll fix that while he's up there looking at it. Yeah. And then they'll have a woman come round. Yeah, that woman over the, down the road. She just ran a corner. She's just had hers done. We've just had the same thing. <laughs> Next thing you know, you you're down the. Down the road, getting 500 quid that you don't need to give to somebody who hasn't done anything. Mm. So, that do. You can see what I mean? You can put, you can let it go, you can dry it off, let it dry, and then with clean water and a light brush, you can add layers and gradually build it up. So, when you think, Oh, that's all right. That's nice. And go away and rest on your laurels. The painting isn't finished because you can still add to it. clean water. I'm just dropping in some of that shadow. Got be a, a little bit of something from the wall, isn't there? Going across. Where is now? 
you can see what I mean. You can, you can, if you let that dry, I think from where it was to where it is now, it's even built up. But the idea is, when you come to do yours, try and keep you keep the this bit inside as fresh as possible. I've, 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 I really haven't done it to my satisfaction it's not as fresh as it's as it could be you could almost make it um you can almost paint the whole thing just like that just sort of white i know that's going to fade back anyway so you know you want it to be fresh i can't you can't do it with the watercolor white so well but and then you'll get that Wow, that looks nice, uh, sort of effect. A bit more wow than I get in here. Especially these distant buildings. They need to be look like they're in the mist almost. Mm. Which I'm, I'm lacking. <coughs> yeah, I'm quite happy with that, actually. Cobblers. I haven't looked on the screen, I haven't looked at the original for ages. It looks, it doesn't look anything like that. That's ridiculous. Because it looks really dark and, um, you know, the background, the, the bridge doesn't look anything like it. What I'm looking at on screen is no one, nothing like that. What I'm looking at on the image, it's much, it's much nicer. Weird, 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 weird. Hmm. It looks all bluey, and it's not blue. It's nowhere near. The, it's nothing like it. Come on, give us a break. That's weird. It's not as dark as that. <laughs> Maybe it'll dry back. It's not yellow. But Hmm. That's interesting. Huh? Interesting to see what it see what it draws back, what it draws back to. It's a nicer picture than that screen is showing. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing something that's not there. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not happy now. Well, I'm not unhappy, but I'm not. I'm not happy. Happy. I don't like it being. That black. Let's get some burnt umber on it. It's still soaking wet, so you know, we know it's going to dry. Hmm. It's what being an artist is about, isn't it? You look at it and think, well, I don't like that. So you change it to your own eye and satisfaction this is raw sienna now hmm. luckily it is still soaking wet so it will take it we'll blame the paper mm. i just wanted it to look nice and Indigo was not the way to go then, you could say. Indigo should have been out you go. <laughs> <laughs> bit darker. Yeah, it's a bit, bit better. So burnt umber seems to be nice. Burnt umber and raw sienna. Well, all the all the earth colours, isn't it? Put raw burnt sienna in, doesn't look quite as nice. Some I just put on there. I'm not so keen on that. Burnt number works well. 
minute trial. It was more like a blooming oil painting now. <laughs> That's better. Go out. A nice brown, brown a tinge. Good. It's got atmosphere. Mm. Mm. It's not an easy picture, it never is. To do it, do it quickly and do it justice, you ain't going to get away with it. You're going to have to work on it, but the camera's picking up a little bit more than... than that made me get two weeks to do it then. Or <laughs> <laughs> hmm. oh, two years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, it's not an easy picture right at the start. But you have to do these things to sort of challenge yourself. And... Looks all right, man. Looks a lot nice too. Yeah, looks looks a lot better now. I've added a little bit more. I think, I think on screen it doesn't look as nice as it does in the rain that I'm looking at here. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Quite like that. Blimey, it's 12.37. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> you said early lunch. <laughs> uh, well, to be quite frank with you, I did. I have. You thought it was going to be. Your choice is down the beach now. You're enjoying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's, really? that's where I'm heading. <laughs> I don't know yeah. Well, just earlier on, she was in a fish pond. Yes. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. <laughs> You're in that fish pond again. That was because of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. la, la, la. This could be a. Stay here, won't you? 
Thank <laughs> you.